y'all. Thanks for coming and doing yoga with me today. This is Yoga for Beginners Morning Sun Salute. So I'm going to take you through a very basic sun salutation and that is Surya Namaskar, my style. This is just going to get you as a beginning yoga student awake for the day, ready to go. We're going to move the body back and forth in multiple places within the body. And this is going to be beneficial to your lymphatic, adrenal, circulatory system, for your mind, for your digestion. So in our sedentary lifestyle that we lead in the modern day, we sleep in a bed, we sit in a car to get to work, we sit at a desk, we sit back in that car to get home, to sit for our meals, sit on the couch to watch TV, and then go back to bed. Yoga is the perfect solution to combat degeneration from this very sedentary lifestyle. So make sure you do a very simple practice like this as a beginning student every single day or at least four or five times a week. And it will only take a few minutes of your day. So we're going to start on our yoga mat at the top of the mat with our toes together and our heels separated about an inch. So I call it the bunion part of the foot together, heels separated about an inch. And then we're going to go through our basic alignments just to get us through the beginning of our practice. You want to plug your feet in from the front pads of your feet to the back pads on the inside and outside. Lift your inner and outer arches. And we're going to rotate our shins away from one another. We're not going to lock our knees. We're not going to bend our knees. We're going to bring a microscopic bend to the knees, drawing upwards on the kneecaps. We're going to draw the thighs inward towards one another, which could feel like you're splaying the hips out. But to combat that, you're going to tuck the tailbone, which will bring tone to the lower core. And then from there, we're going to draw up through the rib cage, up through the shoulders, slightly draw the shoulder blades together, and slightly draw the shoulder blades down the back for that shoulder loop. We're going to lengthen the back of the neck, Bring a line of energy down the crown of the head, down the nose, bridge, towards the sternum, drawing the jawbone back towards the ears. So this is our perfect mountain pose. You want to bring these alignments to every single yoga pose that you do. So we're starting here in Anjali Mudra. It looks like a prayer position. Yoga is not a religion. It's often confused with that. And this prayer position that you see in yoga simply centers us. It's called Anjali Mudra, which means centering hand configuration. So it brings our hands down the center line of the body. Let's for a minute close our eyes. Remember our alignments. Strengthen the body and establish your yogic breath that I taught you in the pranayama video. Once you feel that yogic breath established, let's simply reach our arms up towards the sky. This is the beginning of our salute to the sun, greeting a new day. Strengthen the core, push the hips forward, do a slight back bend, go back, way back. You can never fall too far back. Strengthen up to straight. Come down, bring the hands to your third eye wisdom, bringing it into your practice and to a forward fold. You can bring your hands to your thighs, to your shins, to your ankles, or to the floor for your first forward fold. As you inhale, let's lengthen to a flat back. As you exhale, strengthen your core into that forward fold. Curl up. Pull the nose in towards the knees. Inhaling, lengthen. Bend the knees a lot. Plant the hands on either side of the toes and step back to your plank positions. You want to melt the heart in between the shoulder blades. You want to pull the belly button up towards the spine. You want to have a straight body energy reaching through the crown of the head and through the heels of the feet. For this first round, let's bend the knees, let them rest on the ground, lean back away from the fingertips slightly, and drive and dive the heart in between the hands. Keep the elbows in by the natural waistline and lift the heart up off the floor with the back of the neck lengthening. Cobra. Use your belly button to pull it up and in towards the spine so you're activating your stomach muscles at all times. 
push the floor away from you gently. You don't want to hyperextend the elbows. You want a slight bend to the elbows and to feel strong through the arms. Nice, deep yogic breath. Hold upward facing dog, Urva Mukha Svanasana, for a few breaths this first round. To prevent back aching, you really want to always activate those stomach muscles. Strengthening the core. Let's turn all ten toes underneath. And the belly strength is what's going to pull us back to downward facing dog or Adho Mukha Svanasana. Where your pointer finger attaches to that square and root in your palm, that's what's going to want to drive into your mat below you, establishing your down dog. You want to make sure your shoulders are away from the ears, your head and neck are loosey-goosey, your belly is strong and pulled up and into the body, and your heels are reaching down towards the floor as far as they can comfortably go. No matter what style of yoga you're practicing, Adho Mukha Svanasana, Down Dog, is held for the longest amount of time in multiple different styles of yoga in this series. Let's do a little morning wake-up call to the legs. Pushing our toes and the balls of the feet into the mat, lift the heels as high as you can. Then, let's bend the right knee and really plant the left heel. Come right back up to tippy toes, bend the left knee and really plant the right heel. Back up to tippy toes, one more time, on both sides, waking up the hips and the back of the legs and back down to your regular down dog. Full deep yogic breath. Looking up towards the hands, let's step a few times or swing the right foot in between the hands for a runner's lunge. Just gently rock back and forth to get some momentum and push the floor away from you to step the left foot up to meet the right in that foot alignment we started with. Inhale to flat back. This lengthens our spine to prepare us for an even better forward fold, Uttanasana. Again, you can take hold of your hands anywhere along the legs. I just usually tell people to avoid the knee area and pull yourself down and into a nice deep forward fold. Inhaling, scoop yourself back up, flat back bend, straight body, Anjali Mudra Mountain Pose to start our second series. Take a breath here. Keep your eyes open or closed. Reestablish yourself. Inhale as though the breath is coming in through the top of the head. Exhale as though the breath is moving through your body and leaving through the soles of your feet. Anjali Mudra. Round two. Reach up. Slight back bend, lengthen to straight, bring your hands down through the wisdom of your forehead and to a forward fold. Inhaling the flat back, exhaling, curl up, bow to yourself and everything in your life. Inhaling, we're going to bend the knees, plant the hands and step or hop back to plank. From here, we hold plank for one strong breath. You can bend your knees again like we did in the first round. Or for more challenge, you can keep your legs straight. Bravely move your elbows towards your natural waist and hold Chaturanga Dandasana or push-up pose. Push through to upward facing dog. Inhaling deeply, exhaling deeply. Activate your core and move all the way back to Downward Dog. Inhaling deeply, exhaling deeply. We hold this pose for at least 4 to 12 breaths. So Down Dog is the most important pose you can do. Just hold this pose. If you have time for no more yoga in your day, but just one pose, Down Dog is the pose you should do. Bringing the head lower than the heart really rejuvenates the brain, prevents depression, is good for the cardiovascular system, challenges the bloodstream. 
It's even considered a resting pose for a lot of Surya Namaskar sun salutes. Vinyasa, flow, yoga. From here, let's look up towards the hands, bend the knees almost all the way to the floor and hop lightly or step your way back to flat back, then forward fold. Bring the palms together at the heart, inhale, shoot up like a strong rocket, soft back bend, and back to Anjali Mudra. We start in mountain pose. Now take each round of the sun salute as slow as you need it to go. You are your best yoga teacher. I am simply a guide. So you can keep your first round of, or your every following round of your sun salute as slow as your first round, or you can continue to build speed with me. As we inhale, lengthen up, back. From here, we're going to make sure, that, sure those pointer toes are together. Sit in chair position. Knees squeeze together, which activates that center muscle of the core. We're going to roll the shoulders back and imagine there's a chair below our seat. You can keep your hands in prayer position. You can keep them shoulder width apart, parallel to the floor or ceiling. Or if you want to go for the full posi position, arms on either side of the ears, soft gaze ahead of you. This is a strong pose and it really be, builds a lot of heat in the body. The yogic breath is the most important piece to activate here. It, it fans the flame. From here, bring those hands down through your wisdom, down to the ground. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, bend the knees a lot, plant the hands, step or hop back to plank. Lower down to push-up pose, upward dog, strong belly, leads you back to downward dog. Now you can stay right here in down dog and just hold this pose. If you feel like you need a breather, you can come into child's pose. That'll help you prevent dizziness. Or if you want to continue building with me, step your left foot to the middle of the mat, reach the right foot to the sky, as high as you can get it off the floor. Strengthen your belly, pull your right knee into the belly and step it through to a runner's lunge. Right from here, you can stay here to work on your lunge or you can bring your hands to your thighs for more strength building or sweep your hands all the way up to crescent pose. Nice deep belly breath, lengthen, strengthen. In any lunge in yoga, you want your right thigh or your, your thigh to be at a right angle <clears throat> with your shin, right angle with your ankle. So you want to look for that zigzag in a perfect 90 degree angle down your leg. Hands through your heart center, back to runner's lunge, back to plank, and through our flow to upward dog, downward dog. To balance that out, if you did the right side, let's do the left. So step your right foot to the middle of the mat, lift your left leg as high up off the floor as you can get it, strengthen your belly as you step your left knee into the core and through to the runner's lunge, nice deep belly breath, crescent pose, shoulders away from the ears, inhaling, exhaling. The breath is the most important piece. Really challenge yourself in your version of the pose right now and then bring your hands back down to runner's lunge, step back to plank, go to push-up, upward dog, downward dog. Inhaling, exhaling. Bend both knees a lot. Step or hop back to your fingertips. Inhale, lengthen your back. Flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, hands together. Reach to the sky. Soft back bend. Back up to straight. And to Anjali Mudra, mountain pose. Take several breaths to calm your uh, central nervous system, your circulation, 
catch your breath, really ground yourself right here. So before we quit for the day, we're going to come into a cross-legged position and just balance one thing, little thing out that I think is important. In sun salutation, there's a lot of forward bending and backward bending, which, like I said in the beginning, is awesome for the body. What we miss is the side bending. And to move your spine forward, backward, and side to side brings a complete balance to it. So I'm just going to add this one little stretch here at the end. Come to as comfortable a cross-legged position as you can get. Try to get your ankles as close to being in one line as possible, as close to your body, or as far away from your body as you need them to be. From here, we're going to take our left hand right off of the left hip and lower it, the elbow, as close to the ground as we can comfortably get it. From here, you want to make sure the elbow stays directly underneath the shoulder. The right arm reaches up and over, staying in the same plane as the ear. Let your head and neck relax, and then look up towards the eye of the elbow if that feels comfortable. If not, just look straight ahead. Take a nice stretch. Make sure your right hip stays grounded. Open up the side waist, the intercostal muscles. From your right hip pushing into the earth, reach up and away from that. Stretch like you're waking up in the morning all the way over to the second side. Same alignment. Find your yogic breath. Tuck your tailbone. Inhale, expand the belly. Exhale, contract the belly. Slowly come back up to center. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for starting your morning off with me. Namaste.